So there we have it. We've got my car and a parts car. I pulled out both batteries. I'm going to take the battery in my car that wasn't so good, move it over here, and take this battery out of that crashed car, put it into my car. Now at this point, I want to point out that I didn't actually get footage of physically putting the battery into this car. Uh, a couple of reasons for that, mostly just because my hands were full, I'm working by myself under the vehicle, so it's all kind of challenging. Uh, the other thing was also that we got some snow, but don't worry because when I put my battery into the parts car, I did film all of that step-by-step -step for the physical reinstallation. So what we're gonna do is go back to my car, going down the checklist of reconnecting all the cables to the battery. Tighten down the 10 main bolts that hold the battery to the... Reconnected the main power with the bolt that holds it in place, the actual terminal bolt, and replacing the cover, check. Ground bolt, check. Plugged back in high voltage connectors up by the heater, check. Make sure that's closed. This guy and that guy, check. Low voltage connector at the back of the car, check. Three low voltage connectors on the driver's side, check, check, and check. But uh-oh, here we got an issue. So this battery pack is not the same as the one that was on this car. This battery pack was not set up for the Chatamo fast charging. There's no holes here. And also, that means I don't have any place for these to go. So I think what I'm probably going to be doing is just kind of zip tying them up and out of the way. Um, unfortunately, there's really no uh, Chatamo fast chargers in my area anymore. So not the end of the world. That so with all the connections done, now I need to reinstall the main battery disconnect. Uh, this is under the, uh, the driver's seat and you, you can pull it out without having to unbolt the driver's seat. I'm not sure about putting it back in. I'll try to get it in there. If I can't, I'll have to pull out the bolts. Okay, there we go. I got lucky I didn't have to pull the seat out. Let's so, get the plug down in there and you gotta make sure to put So and now I need to uh, hook the 12 volt battery back up. So dome light comes on, that's a good sign, although that doesn't tell us uh, what the battery voltage is. I checked that, that's a little bit low, 12.28. Uh, um, says the door's open, again, a good sign. Just gonna crawl in here to put my foot on the brake. Now, remember that uh, the battery before was at a really low state of charge, it only had uh, two bars. And the battery from the parts car, I don't remember what it had. I think it was like two thirds charged. But here's gonna come the moment of truth if I got the battery working right and all. So I'm gonna try to start up, see what happens. It's beeping, that's a good sign. Came on. What's going on here? Okay, now those two things, that's a separate issue. Um, I don't have worries about those. The brake uh, definitely is on. Uh, seat belt, I'm not unseated, 83,000 miles. It looks like it's, I guess this is about what I had expected actually. <laughs> Cool, it turned on. Um, let's see. So we could start drawing some current here with the turn on the heater. 
heater's just gonna put a, uh, a load on the battery. And sure enough, we see the little needle went up from zero, so we're drawing some power. Uh, so we got more than half a charge. We're definitely drawing some power and it seems to be working. Like I said, that there, those were both already known issues. I'm not worried about those. Uh, but yeah, looks like it's working. So here's just a little bit more on the Chatamo DC fast charging on this car. This is on the left side rear. I open this up. You can see it's a very big plug and it's this style DC fast charge connector. Um, now what's interesting is because this is part of the bodywork, you're going to have a flap like this whether you have the DC fast charging on your Mitsubishi iMeve or not. And one of the easy ways to tell the difference is right down here. This is the release for it. So if we pull it, you can see that pop open. So if you wanted to buy one of these used and you did not see this down here by the driver's seat, it does not have the DC fast charging. Uh, however, um, you're, you're still gonna have this. So the funny part about that is you can't tell just by looking here at the car whether it's got the fast charging or not. Now, the standard charging is on the other side. So since it looks like the battery swap is successful, I am just going to go to our standard J1772 charging and I'm going to put the car on charge. And I heard a couple of clicks and a whir, which generally means that charging has started. And I'm just going to double check the dashboard. And sure enough, up here it says it's plugged in and shows state of charge. In the next video, we're going to see if the car actually charged properly or not. And then we're going to use that OBD Bluetooth dongle to communicate to the smartphone, use an app and find out if we can figure out what's really going on with the salvaged battery. We hope you like these projects. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and come check us out at 300mpg.org.